Hello everybody, this is Carl again from the Elon Tech Support team. In today's video, I'm just going to give some pointers. Uh, if you're having a TS7 lockup, some pointers to check for in the configurator to see if you're having some programming issues. So the first place that I usually start is on the interface tab. And I'll go straight to the home pages and see if there is a custom home page. In this case, I do see a couple. Uh, one that I created here called TS7 Test. So let's go in there. Um, as you guys probably know, is the only layouts that affect the TS7 are the 800 by 480 layout. So we want to check that first. So let's go in here. So there we go. I see a couple issues that can cause TS7 lockouts. One of those is controls that are overlapping each other. So you don't want to have any controls overlapping each other. That could cause a potential TS7 lockout. So to fix that, just go ahead and move that control away from the other ones. Other thing that I see is we've got a video stream control that seems to be out of its layout. The way that I can tell is it's more of a rectangle. Um, the way that you can test to see if it's out of layout is click on it and go ahead and just grab the edge of it and drag it and see if it snaps to a different layout. Boom, there it goes. So now it's more of a square or less wide rectangle layout. That's the correct layout. The, way, the reason that this happens is typically the uh, video stream control was created in the 800 by 600 layout, like so. And then somebody did a copy layout from, I'm sorry, somebody did a copy layout on the 480 from the 800 by 600. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Boom. See that? So it made it a wider video stream control, which it could cause potential TS7 lockups. So just resize it, snaps back to its normal format, and you should be good to go. Another thing to check is the display settings. Uh, we do have this feature in there so that you can customize your touch screens to give them all kinds of cool looking colors or maybe to match some kind of color theme for the house. Um, so this is more of a beta feature. We put it there, kind of use it at your own risk. It is pretty cool. You can get some cool color schemes going on on your touch screens. The only thing is, is since it is beta, I have personally seen this potentially cause issues depending on how custom you get. Um, so use it at your own risk. Just know that it could cause potential TS7 lockup issues. So if you do have a TS7 lockup, that's another thing to check for. And what I would do is just reset it back to the black default settings and see if that cures your TS7 lockup. Uh, okay, so next thing to look for, let's go to the media tab. In the media tab, there's a couple things to look for. One of the main things that I notice are source icons being changed to some custom icons. So you see on this DirecTV box I created here a custom, I got a, I got I actually downloaded this logo from Google and added it as my icon. The problem is, is that we don't prevent you from adding whatever kind of logo you want or size of a logo. And what I've noticed is that if you uh, put in some really big logos, yeah, you might get some TS7 lockup issues. So right here is our standard logos. Those work great. So if you're having a TS7 lockup issue, look for some custom logos. Uh, the way that you can tell is all of our standard ones look like this. So obviously the DirecTV one is a custom logo. Now I'm going to show you this DirecTV one could potential co potentially cause issues because of the size. So go to my desktop. I already put this logo right here on my desktop, and I also have one of our default ones. Uh, if I right-click on that cable one and go to Properties, you can go to the Details tab and see what the dimensions are. It's 96 by 67. So our standard dimensions of one of our icons is typically 96 by 96 or less. No more than that. So I recommend using logos that are that size or less um, you can use some kind of editing software to shrink down your logos. Uh, so here you'll see if I click on properties on this one, which I just downloaded from Google, we go to details and there you go. It's 489 by 424, so that's huge. It's almost five times more, and that could cause a potential TS7 lockout. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that you want to look for on the media tab is go down to keypads and interfaces. And you want to look for a keypad interface that added a video stream. Um, so I happen to know that I added a video stream in here. And it's the same issue that we had on the home page. 
we had a composite video layout um, that is more wider than it should be. So same thing happened if I go over to the 800 by 600 layout. It's not as wide. We did a copy from layout here for the 480, made it wider. So if I click on that, resize it, boom, puts it in its proper format, we're good to go. So that's it pretty much on the media tab to look for TS7 issues. Um, going over to the video tab, exact same thing that we had on the home page and that keypad interface from the media tab. You want to look to see if these things are out of format. So if it is, click it, drag it, resize it, hit apply, good to go. So that's it. Those are all pretty much my pointers on looking for things that could cause potential TS7 lockups. All right, check out our other videos. Take care.